What's up YouTube? Today we are going to be looking at how to pitch bend in various different plugins. Um, this isn't very hard. Uh, it's sort of the same process for each each plugin. So we can have a look at that. Um, the first plugin we're going to have a look at is Massive. That's probably the easiest one. So I've just got out a, a preset here. Um, it sounds like this. Okay. So now we're going to look at various different types of pitch bend on it. So first we're going to have a look at Portamento. Now Portamento is just when it will pitch bend by itself. You don't need to um, you don't need to worry about anything besides the amount that you wanted to pitch bend. So we're going to have a look at that quickly. And what we can do is we can stretch that out to, to make it longer. Okay, so in the voicing tab to get portamento, you want it to set on mono rotate. Um, you will never be able to achieve pitch bend if it's on polyphonic. That applies to all plugins. So put it on mono rotate on always, and inside this oscillator tab here, this time button is going to set the amount. So it's we'll turn it up quite high so you can hear the effect that it's having. Okay, so that's how you do normal portamento and this sounds quite nice in, in a mix. Okay, so but now maybe you don't want you want to you want to have some notes that are pitching and some notes that aren't. So what we do is then we use this one here called legato triller and what that means is um, you're gonna be able to pitch up your own notes using other notes. So we're gonna turn this time down, we're gonna go into this year and you're going to see now. If you play it, it's going to sound as if nothing is happening. Okay, that's right. So say we wanted to pitch up, we don't want it to pitch up at the end. We want this note to pitch up here. Okay, so what's going to happen is it's going to play these notes. When it gets to here, it's going to pitch up to here. The length at which it pitches up determines the time knob that we just looked at inside the oscillator tab and it won't pitch up here so let's have a listen and however long you make this is how long it's gonna affect the time it takes from to get from this note to this note okay so that's massive Next we're going to have a look at Nexus. Now a lot of people think that you can't edit a lot of stuff inside Nexus and they're partially right but th there's also stuff that you can do in Nexus. Um, there's a lot actually that you can edit yourself. Um, there's so many different effects you can add and stuff like that that people just ignore and they just use the presets. So we're going to look at taking this lead here and seeing how we can achieve portamento and then your own custom pitch bend known as legato. So what you want to do is you're going to set this portamento here to, to PLY and you show here. Now in Nexus it's pretty precise. That's these All these notes are too to your tempo that you've set. Um, so when it's on PLY, that's going to be that's going to be um, the regular portamento. Once you set it to LGT, which stands for legato, it's going to do exactly what it did before in massive. So if we stretch this one out, put that up there, you show here. Determining how quickly you want it to pitch up, you use these, these here in this little drop down. Okay, so that's Nexus, and where you find this, it's inside this little mod button here underneath library, and then it's the tab portamento. So um, 
so that's Nexus. Now we're going to have a look at FM8. Okay, so FM8. Uh, now I've got a random uh, preset loaded up here. Um, now, there's many different ways you can actually do this. Um, you can use this master tab and use the polyphony from here, or you can use this pitch and use the portamento here. So, pretty much, um, sorry, not the polyphony, you can use the portamento tab here. So, pretty much, firstly, you need to understand that this mono button has to be on. If it's off, no matter what you set portamento to, it just won't work because it's running as polyphonic, even if your voices are turned down to one. Okay, so we want to run this as mono. And now you can either use this here for portamento or you can use this pitch here. It doesn't really matter. So we're going to use this one just because we're here. So if we listen to it now, nothing, right? So if we switch portamento on, this time knob is going to determine how quickly it pitches. Now, how do we get legato? Well, we switch auto on. Now we've got legato. We can we can determine how we want it to pitch. So pretty much this legato, it's like using the pitch bend at the slide button on on Fruity Loops. If you're using Image Line's own plugins, you can use that slide button, and that's just pretty much legato. Um, so, so that's how you do inside FM8. It's really easy. In any plugin, really, you're just looking for portamento, you're looking for legato, and there should be some slider or drop down like a Nexus to determine to determine how 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 quickly it pitch bends. Okay, so next we have Silence. Now, Silence is just as easy as everyone else's. Um, the portamento um, options are in the bottom right. You've got this portamento knob and that word legato. But also, if you listen to silence now, this needs to be on S. I don't, I don't know what S stands for. I don't know what N stands for. But it's got to be down on S. That sort of makes it mono. So now this allows for this to happen. So now if we listen to it, And when the mono legato is on, we can then determine what notes are played. So um, if you want to be in control of both, um, you keep this on S, and it'll portamento and legato. If you just wanted to, if you just want portamento, it has to be on S. And if you just want mono legato, it's got to be on N. So, so that's how you do pitch bend inside um, Nexus FM8 Silent and Massive. Um, so doing the pitch bend in Silent is new for me because I haven't really, I don't really use Silent. Um, Anyway, so, so that's all the pitch bend done for those plugins. And once you know that ready, you can do it for all plugins. You just need to look for the right stuff. You know, legato, portamento, and mono. As long as mono is switched on, you can do legato and portamento. That applies for everything. So this has been Euphoria with a video on pitch bend. Like, subscribe, f and all that fun stuff. And m I think a reverb video is coming soon. Um, it's working i'm working quite hard on that one because there's quite a lot that needs to be covered anyway enjoy